lads, ladettes, and lassies. It has been three, three, three months, four, four videos, four videos. Yeah, three months, three months right. I think. Matt, yeah. I am finished with you guys. I, I finished college math, so I never have to use it again. So, so. ditto. But yes, it is. It's, it's been surprisingly long, but short. <laughs> we are yeah. at uh, the season finale of Core. My name is Josh, and as always. Joining me through the journey of Korra. The legend of Korra, actually. Ah! He's Mikhail. Ah. What's up? So, oh. 12 episodes. And this is literally... As he said in the our sicking, this is literally called Endgame. Yeah. Korra did yeah. it first. Endgame. <laughs> Korra did it first, Before Avengers. Endgame. But, uh... They beat him. I mean, this is... This is a uh, season one finale. So tell us, Mikhail. What... Just like the preface, the preamble. Yeah, so on our last episode <clears throat> <laughs> On our last episode of Legend of Korra, Korra and what's his face learned that Tarlock is actually secretly Amon's brother. They were both sons of a notorious bloodbending gangster who trained them in the art of bloodbending. But as they got older, his older brother Amon turned out to be a cold, heartless, ruthless killer. Uh, and eventually decided to turn his bloodbending against other benders because he decided bending was the root of all evil. So he used his bloodbending to block people's chip or chakras. Chi. Chi. Chakras. Same difference. So that, Probably not. <laughs> same difference. Same difference. So they could no longer bend. Now, because Avatar Korra and What's His Face have learned this, Poor they are Mako. Revealing... <laughs> Mako. I am so sorry, Mako. <laughs> Korra and Mako now know this, and they are planning on revealing his blood-bending nature to the rest of the world, so that all of his followers no longer view him as the symbol of hope and equality that he is. As they destroy his symbol, their hope is that his whole empire will soon dismantle and fall apart and crumble. Will that actually happen? Will they be able to reveal himself, or reveal him? Will they ever need that backup armada? Will they actually win this? Or will this whole series be nothing but L's for Team Korra? We, we never know. Let's find out. Why would there be fence posts, but no fence? This is unfortunate. <laughs> yep. Well, that failed quickly. Yep. <laughs> Hopefully there are like, no- Like, literally immediately. Hopefully there are no guards, or that is very extravagant. That tragic event began my quest to equalize the world. That's a lie, Amon. Or should I call you Noah Talk? Everyone calm down. We have nothing to fear from okay. the Avatar. His response is interesting. His father was Yakon, and his brother is Councilman Tarlock. What? <laughs> An amusing tale. But I will show you <laughs> Ass comes off. Scarred face. Overcommit. They call me Zuko. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You should have brought Tarlock with you. They don't believe yep. Me. Interesting. It work. We said what we had to. Let's get out of here. I wouldn't leave yet, Avatar. You'll miss the main event. <sighs> the last of the airbenders. The entire family right there. The airplanes are ready for takeoff, sir. Good. Annihilate the fleet. <gasps> That's right, General. I intercepted your message to Commander Boomy. No. Exactly. Where they're hiding. The hobo didn't That's pay out. Three L's? Three L's already. It's been five minutes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, D. Bradley Baker. Yes, and other D. Bradley Baker. <laughs> what do you know? Just like a future industries forklift. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> okay, that was sick. 
The avatar needs to be reminded of the power I possess. <laughs> that nice. That's so Dude, cool. The sync choreo is so sick. <laughs> oh, what an awesome way to do wall running. <laughs> yes, Tenzin. <laughs> Kick their ass, JK Simmons. <laughs> She blocked that. <laughs> oh! There it is. Oh, man. I told you I would destroy you. Interesting. Another L. Yep. The Mary Sue complaint is less and less legitimate. <laughs> Every episode we watch, it just gets less and less legitimate. Oh. Ooh. That is a brutally effective. He doesn't game. need a plane, he has fire, I think. <laughs> oh, that's so oh, sick! Oh, oh, oh. He's got freaking jetpacks for hands. Just lightning bend up, dude. Just lightning bend up. <laughs> Straight up. Like, oh my god, right there, yeah, you got the yeah, bombs. Right there. <laughs> There you go, destroy the map while you're at it. Well, isn't that beautiful? Naga, go take out the mechas. <laughs> yes! Hey! Good girl. Ooh. Should've brought Naga when they had to fight the mechas last. Such a strong polar bear dog. Well, at least they're still destroying the planes. The That's objective true. the objective is still being complete. Yeah. <laughs> you you really about to kill your own daughter? It's caught up in the hype. <laughs> you tell him, Bolin. <laughs> Everything the Avatar said is true. This poor guy. I just saw you bloodbender. I dedicated my life to you. What were you planning on doing, man? Come on, man. I think this guy's taking more more L's than Korra. <laughs> yeah, he's the only character in the show that has. Oh, this poor guy. And he's so cool, too. Do it again, just keep doing it. Do it again, yes. Burn his entire face. Burn the rest. May have spoken too soon. I, I really do love how horrifying they make bloodbending within the series. I'm impressed. Yeah. No one has ever gotten the better of me like that. <laughs> no. Interesting. Ooh. There you go. Wait. Okay. Fascinating. I have questions. Impossible. Impossible. He has questions too. <laughs> it's like Deku learning to use his legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Hmm. Ah. Ooh. 
and the scar's gone too. Oh man. They actually succeeded. They they did what they, they did what they said they were gonna do. <laughs> they did. It wasn't an L. Eh, of course. Still lost the other three elements. It's over, brother. It will be just like the good old days. Wow, that's, that's a dark ending. Suffice it to say, I don't think we're getting Steve Bloom back. Yeah. Cora can still airbend, but her connection to the other elements has been severed. It's going to be all right, Cora. No. It's not. <laughs> so that prediction was wrong. That's good. When Tarlock took you, I was losing my mind at the thought of never seeing you again. I realized I love you, Cora. Did you break up with Asami first? I can't. Cora! That'd be smart. They could have done it off screen. Mago looks like the kind of dog that would think she's a lap dog. Oh my god, yeah. Even when she's fully grown. Which is a little terrifying. Not now, Tenzin. Spoony. I just want to be left alone. But you called me here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> you have I keep being wrong. I kind of like it. Oh. When we hit our lowest point, we are open to the greatest change. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so cool. All oh, the music too. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually kind of half right about that. You're kind of half right, just wrong in how they were executed. We're gonna execute it. <laughs> yeah. For a moment, I thought I was wrong, and I was like, "Oh, wait, I really like that." And that no. That would have been a major downer to end the series on. <laughs> That's true. Ooh. That's pretty baller. I am so proud. Of We've you. got a gigantic line of people that want their bending back core. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're prepared to spend a week working. <laughs> <laughs> on this one thing okay so that was season one yeah all right so just what are your thoughts like you know face cam yeah, yeah, story face cam memory. there we yeah. go i almost forgot um, i almost forgot too um yeah i think okay so my prediction was uh, I was thinking they were going to bring the blood bending back so that they could bring everyone's bending back that way. Because I, I knew that wouldn't be permanent. Honestly, like, those those stakes, a win with the loss is still a loss in American writers' minds, which is kind of disappointing sometimes. Um, but I saw that coming. And then I actually thought Boomy because I was expecting, uh, like, sort of mentor speech sort of thing like I was expecting a moment of dialogue where Korra accepted where she was at and that she actually sacrificed for something good like she didn't lose her powers for nothing um that could have been really interesting but what we got was I mean what, what we got was fine <laughs> fine style yeah. like purely like stylistically like just taking the writing aspect out of it the way that yeah. they gave her back her bending, just how they showed it, is so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that, like... Yeah. It's, With, like, the wave of, like, air and then fire and the water. Uh, it's, like, I am a li Like, the ending of this season, it, I still like it a lot. I don't think it, like, bogs down the, se the season as a whole. But, like, it is a little... I don't know. It's, it's a soft landing. It, 
it feels like they wrote um, all of season one, and then uh, Nickelodeon said, you're not going to get a season two. Mm. And then one week before season the finale was going to air, they're like, you're actually going to get a season two. And like, shoot, we got to rewrite it. <laughs> rewrite <laughs> rewrite the, the last three minutes. <laughs> yes. Dude, that's exactly what it feels like. Yeah. Because there were a lot of decisions that they made that felt like they could have been really permanent. And then they weren't. Um, yeah, bending being, of course, the most obvious one. Uh, speaking of things that are permanent, actually, that are actually are permanent. Um, whoa! Yeah. Tarlac. Whoa! I am very that surprised. I'm very surprised that got past like censoring. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow! That whoa. was. <laughs> oh my god! You just like you see him uncork the oil screw, and you're like, no. No. Yeah, no. I was thinking like, okay, his brother can bloodbend. He knows exactly what's going on. And then I saw the tears from the other person. Like, oh my gosh, he's just gonna let it happen. Yeah. Oh wow, they're both that screwed up right now. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, yeah, that there is permanence within this finale. <laughs> Some stuff is not yeah. permanent. That is definitely that is, permanent. That's <laughs> that, that was that was voluntary. That's permanent. <laughs> Second season, Amon comes back. It's like he actually has a score. Though. <laughs> oh. Oh. My brother. I don't need to make up anymore. <laughs> my brother may have died, but I need the scar. I have the scar now. <laughs> but yeah, um, watching that every time, it's still shocking. It's yeah. It's that's a that was a ballsy move like that move to guts i you know i am an advocate of shorter seasons like mm -hmm. i think uh the flash right that, that could very much benefit. that agreed oh i mean that just needed to that that just needs to have a serious finale but that should have had a serious finale like three seasons ago well okay i'm not even talking about like series i'm talking about, like seasons in general like cut the flash oh, yeah oh like, yeah keep the budget just cut it into 12 episodes Better CG for sure. Hopefully better writing quality. But like with Korra, funnily enough, I'm kind of of the mind like, man, this needed either 40 minute long episodes or just 24 episodes. Cause Agreed. Yeah, totally. I feel It needed to be twice as long. Everything was there for Amon's and uh, Tarlok's suicide to be incredibly yeah. emotionally impactful. It's, I know. It feels more shocking than it is emotionally. Agreed. And that's because we just barely get Agreed. to see them as brothers. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, we need more episodes to explore that, to explore their relationship. Um, and to explore why they flipped from angry, ambitious, to depressed. Well, okay, Tar <laughs> Tarlock is easy. He lost yeah. his bending. Oh, yeah. Totally. And his political and, yeah. and his political stance as well. I mean, um, yeah, his, his political career is in shambles. Um, Amon, it's just Amon's yeah. turn is extremely quick. Like it makes sense. Like you can see the building yeah. blocks. Like he does lose everything. It's just the pacing of the episode is like it's been an hour. <laughs> like yeah, or you know, it doesn't feel like a lot of time it has feels passed. Yeah. <laughs> It feels like there, like there was a deleted yeah. scene that they had in mind somewhere. Yeah, definitely. But in the end, I actually really do like the weight that that kind of ending brings. It does. It just shows that they're ballsy. <laughs> you know, it just shows yeah. that. Um, oh yeah. I, <laughs> maybe it's just like a thing. Like, if oh they... shoot, we're gonna bring Core's bending back. Maybe we should make something permanent in the season. The season. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It shows that if they could, they would. Yeah. But... Uh, and it's, at that point, it's like, it's not our fault, it's not our fault, it, blame the studio, please. Please. No, this isn't us. Like, I really do wonder if either the episodes were twice as long, so, like, still a 12 episode season, but 40, ep 40 minutes per episode, so we get, like, more time with yeah. the characters, or if it was, like, the season was twice as long, so 24 episodes. Like, I do wonder. I think this season being twice as long would have been better. What what would they have changed? What would I think? 
Like we would have seen more of Tarlock and Amon as brothers. Yeah. And we would have seen more of Amon on screen. We actually barely saw any of him on screen. I think that like, also just might be as a character. Like Steve Bloom's kind of expensive, and this is a Nickelodeon budget. They already have Dee Bradley Baker yeah. and J.K. Simmons. And That's true. And um, yeah. uh, shoot, dang it, what's his name? I, Clancy Brown. Dee Bradley Baker. No, Clancy Brown oh, was on. Oh yeah, yeah, Clancy Brown too. Yeah. They had so many amazing voice actors in this first season alone. Um, That's true. Yeah, rewatching rewatching the season, I'm like, man, Amon is barely in this, but I remember him so prominently. <laughs> Which, yeah. you know what? Even though he's not in it, the fact that he's, it, to me, he's such a prominent part of the season. Like, I remember so much. I, I misremember, oh, yeah. like how much he's actually in the season, because that's how, yeah, that's how much of a presence he has. So, like, little screen time. Amon has like, the best villain presence. Still a better villain than the Fire oh, Lord, yeah. overall. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Miles. Million miles ahead of Fire Lord. Ozai. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's just... I just... I really do wonder, like, how much more impactful this could have been. And, like, if they had been given... If they knew about Season 2, would they have still gone mm -hmm. the plot route of Korra losing her bending and then gaining it immediately. Would that have stayed? Yeah. Would it have been different? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they didn't have a season two, would her losing her bending would have been permanent? Would it would yeah, would that have been permanent? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's really interesting from God. Or like I mean, I kinda like the idea of them having an, a season where the Avatar can't actually bend all four elements. What the heck does the world look like? How does the Avatar fulfill their responsibilities? Especially for Korra. How does Korra emotionally recover from that? Yeah. I, that could be a really interesting story. I think... I, I keep changing like my my thinking of like how this was edited within the cha the editing room. Where, like, you know, like... Did they get the news mm -hmm. of season two? So it could also be the fact that like maybe they did want to explore that uh, in a season two. Mm -hmm. Like what Korra could have been like... Uh, only being an airbender, but they're like that's kind of dark to leave off the series. So let's just give her a bending. Like let's leave it off on a high note. And then Nick says, "Here's season two. Like God dang it! <laughs> Gosh dang! We had the perfect plot. <laughs> we had the perfect season oh, two hey. in the palm of our hands. Why couldn't you have told us dang this it. last week?" Um, I, I would love to have a conversation with the writers. Yeah, me too. I was, like, I was to literally to about to say, I, I would love to yeah. like have like a sit down, like, what, what would have been the plan for Korra season two if you knew it was coming? Or like, what would you have changed if you actually were given like, because Avatar was given three seasons from the go ahead. So they had- What uh, would you have done if there was no season two? What would you have done if you learned season two about season two earlier? And then, like, what would you have done if the series was a little bit longer, or the season was a little bit longer? Oh, so those are great questions for those uh, for the writers. <laughs> yeah, that's a long conversation, and those questions can spawn a lot of other questions too. Yeah, it's like another thing. Like, with, I know, lads, it's it might sound like we're bagging on it, but at least for me, like, I really do enjoy the season. It's just a little bit easier to talk about things that, like, uh, I wish they could have gone with this. So like, there are things I really do yeah. like that I will get to. Just don't want to forget these other things. <laughs> but don't, yeah, like it's not like, oh god, this this sucked. It's the, the worst thing I've ever seen. Like, oh, it's, We're not Anthony. It's just criticism. It's healthy criticism. It's not yeah, it's an It's um, Anthony's point. <laughs> We're not Anthony. Brings up Anthony. Anthony's point of um. Core's spiritual journey into air does feel yeah. rushed a little bit. Yeah, it felt like, uh, what's the word, what's the name for the thing that the hero learns for no real reason out of nowhere at the finale because they need to? A Deus Ex Machina? Oh, uh, yeah, it is a Deus. I thought there was a name for, like, the ability, though. I thought Deus Ex Machina was, like, an event or something. I, think <sighs> there's a I don't think there is, now that I think about it. But, yeah. It, it basically felt like a Deus Ex Machina. It could, there could be a technical term for it, but I'm not really sure. 
but again, like, let's we, just go with Deus Ex Machina. Yeah, it, it does feel like a Deus Ex Machina in that sense. But again, we kind of talked about that. Like, it was either Korra's spiritual journey or the plot. <laughs> um, yeah. It's I don't. It's yeah. just if it was Honestly, twice as long, it would have been perfect. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, totally. I think, honestly, actually, this was still more interesting because, like, the core that we got, I don't find her interesting enough to be a whole show all on her own. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. her character is not quite enough for me to be interesting to just carry solo. Um, this, this, was, this was interesting. But, like, I could see Korra and... If they had the time for that, they could figure that out. Yeah, I kind of get it. Like, I mean, like, she might not be interesting to you because just, like, you have it. Just, yeah, that's like, a part of it because like we just haven't seen enough. Like you said last episode, it feels like she kind of stagnated at episode five in her development. It's, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. the, the plot kind of started taking over. Like, after episode five, that was when Amon attacked the bending arena. Then she found out about Tarlock. <laughs> And she got kidnapped by a mon. <laughs> then uh, <laughs> the air vent. Then the city got attacked. <laughs> then she found out about Tarlock and a You know, it's like so much happened to her that they didn't really have time to go on her like spiritual journey or like really much of a character arc because the plot was pushing so far. So yeah, totally. Again, if yeah, if it was given more like more episodes, I think. Korra would have ended up being a much more stronger character in her like development, mm -hmm. but yeah, totally. I'm so glad that you think she's not a Mary Sue. <laughs> no, <laughs> she's lost way too often. And like the thing with Mary, Actually, I don't think she ever really won except for the end there. <laughs> she didn't even win really. Just angle, like you know what? Here's the Avatar. I'm just gonna get this back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. You dropped something. Call me the chill avatar, because I'm going to give you your bending back. But, like, <laughs> the thing with Mary Sue's, it's like Ray from the, like, obviously, most, that's, like, I feel like that's the most prominent one in recent media, it's like, from the, the Star Wars yeah. trilogy. Like, yeah. she's a, if we meet her, she's a Junker in Jakku. Like, two days later, she can fight Kylo Ren, who has been training since he's a teenager in the arts of the Force and the lightsaber, in both yeah. the light and the dark side of the Force, and she fights him to a standstill and actually knocks him on his butt <laughs> and scars him. Yeah. And she comes out with nothing. She comes out yeah. very much victorious. That is a Mary Sue. And she has no training either. With Korra. She, she's strong because. With Korra, is like. Yeah, she, she knows all this stuff, and we didn't see her go through, like, the training for it. But it's very much there. They, like, I've been training for 17 years at the White Lotus Temple, you know? Like, they state that yeah. over and over, so. It's like... There's, there's the background of training. Yeah, there's a reason for it. It's explained there. But also, it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> They give her the That's skill set so she can do really cool things, but she still loses way more than she wins. Yeah. Like, by a mile. Like, yeah. She, she... I'm trying to think of instances where she actually won. There was the first episode and the last episode, kind of. <laughs> and this and... episode, she didn't really beat a mod. She kind of just pushed him out a window and he beat himself. <laughs> yeah. Basically... Um, anything else? I mean, she won one of the pro bending matches by oh, herself. Yeah. She ugly. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. She yeah. She won one by herself, and then like the rest they won as a team. But even then, they still lost quite a few. <laughs> um, yeah. They With even, the avatar on their team. Even the sports matches that have no consequence on the plot, they lose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't see it. Not a Mary Sue. Yeah, no, Mary Sue wins <laughs> for no reason. Glad to see that. Or lost. Glad to see we're on the same page. Cause, yeah, when Anthony says that she's a Mary Sue, I, I think 
think it might just be the writing, like the Deus Ex Machina of her being able to learn airbending right then and there. It's like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> like, I can airbend. But that's that's less so a character thing and more so an event. Yeah. It. I think I, that's just I honestly, might... I do think the airbending is a weakness. I'll put it that way. I don't. I wouldn't say a full issue, but I would say a weakness for sure. It's definitely a weakness. Um, I'd say the that's. Writing. Yeah, I'd say that's an event, not a character issue. Mary Sue implies a character issue. Oh yeah. That 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 wasn't what that was. Say, so I, I do enjoy Cora. Like you, you are right. Like she does kind of like her plot or not her plot development. Like her character development does take a backseat in the story. But I do still enjoy her a lot. I like her attitude. It's just, ah, I just wish the season was either longer or somehow they connected Amon and her spiritual journey towards airbending to make the mm -hmm. fit like just to make that finale or like that that moment of she unlocks airbending like just to make that yeah. moment that much cooler there should be a bit of triumph there yeah like oh yes everything that she's been learning throughout the season it finally leads up to this instead of like oh all my other bending paths are sealed this is the only one that's getting outed right now yeah like that's yeah I think that's my biggest issue with the first season. But other than that, I really do enjoy the first. Like, Amon, incredible villain. Tarlock. Oh, Amon is an amazing villain. Tarlock is so much more developed and three dimensional than I remember him being. <laughs> yeah. Um, of course. J.K. Simmons. Of course. Of course. <laughs> By default. By default. Just, just, just a highlight. <laughs> yeah. They even like yeah. Tenzin. I love Tenzin. He's a great character. I, yeah. I, I want the I want the Tenzin spinoff. <laughs> um, yes, absolutely. I, I oh god, the action throughout the season. Oh mm. man, the oh the choreography. Such an improvement on and, and Avatar's choreography is pretty good. Like, it's serviceable, oh, yeah. but this is oh, there's so much more creative. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. Somehow. They're insane. So creative. So cool. I don't know. What, what are some highlights for you from like this first season? Oh, man. Yeah. Honestly, choreo and the way that they framed the fight scenes, right? Avatar, the fight scenes tended to be pretty static. Uh, just with the camera move, movement, motions and all that. Core, like, they put work in making these fights look good and oh. it came through for sure like it really shined there um and then yeah honestly same highlights uh amon is just just a fantastic villain like early on he understands how to be a threat and he is a threat to reckon with um he his fall just after airbending, being airbended out of the window, felt a little anticlimactic. Um, and I wanted to see more of him. But I also understand that, yeah, I'm, I wanted to give grace for that just because it's 12 episodes. Um, they had such limited time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, those are the two big things. Uh, we actually somewhat got half resolution for the love triangle thingy. Ish. Uh. Ish. I hope he broke up with Asami off screen. <laughs> oh, she's done so dirty. She really is. So dirty. Like, come on, man. The bad thing, like, Dude, usually, really... usually, like, in the, oh, God. Mikhail, you need to start watching more romance anime. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have seen so many, like, love triangles, love hexagons. But the thing with, like, Japan, it's, like, all of them. You can root for all of them, or at least a majority. If it's a mm -hmm. harem, you could root for like three characters, and you, mm -hmm. even though one of them may win, you still feel incredibly bad for the other ones that didn't mm -hmm. win. I feel like in America, it's like they happen. have a love triangle, but there's only really one that you care about, <laughs> and then the other ones either like really mean or really underdeveloped. Yep. With Asami, it's yeah. like. She's not, there's she's nothing really wrong with her. Like, she's a little underdeveloped, but it's not to the point where, like, yeah, Mako, get with Korra. It's like, I just feel bad for you. <laughs> that yeah. sucks. 
Yeah. Because she did nothing wrong. Nothing. She, nothing. I, she actually lost everything. Yeah. And then she lost things a step further by losing her boyfriend. <laughs> uh, Mr. Steal Your Boy, Cora. But yeah. Yeah, the love yeah. triangle is also a weakness within the show. I honestly just don't know if that's like the studio's fault, the writer's fault. It felt like the studio's fault. It's probably it really the studio's did. fault. The way it was shoved into one episode, that felt like a studio thing. Yeah, it's like you need to have a love triangle, but but, stu- but Nickelodeon, we we need to give Cora some. Uh, we, we're planning on giving Cora airbending. We need to give her story first. Love triangle. Okay, sir. Love triangle. Whether you like it or not. That episode okay. was a love square, actually. For a little bit there. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Bolin is also a highlight, just in general. I love Bolin so actually, much. Yeah. Yeah. Bolin's character is just so like wholesome and positive. Yeah. Uh, I'm sad to say Mako, but you lose points. Mako d- definitely loses points for the finale. Here. Yeah, he really does. And like, he wasn't all—he wasn't really ever a super great character. He was just sort of there, I guess. And then the finale, it's like, oh, yeah, sorry, dude. No. Yeah. No. Like, don't don't do time. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be Wyatt. <laughs> No. Uh, uh, I think that covers my thoughts. Yeah, I think that's really it. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna say it again. I'm so glad that we were able to do these two episodes back to back because you would have been totally spoiled on that uh, avatar, like all the avatars. You've been totally. Oh, yeah. That's that's the thumbnail <laughs> for this episode. If you hover over this episode, oh, but you want to play it, that's what shows. I was just like, really, really Netflix. Come on, guys. Come on, Netflix. Uh, uh, terrible taste. But yeah, I, yeah, I think that's like the gigantic general basis is of course. Surprisingly, this video is not over an hour long, but remember lads, we did not go on a tangent. <laughs> that's true. But if you lads have anything that you like want to discuss further, or like, oh, you guys forgot to talk about this, or I really want to see what like you guys would want or like what you would have said with this or i want to see what more your thoughts here leave that down in the comments below we do like we have done q a's in the past of like ah oh, shoot we missed this detail we have like 20 comments let's just t- let's just like speed run the comments and talk about it um who knows maybe we'll do it live <laughs> uh tell us down below would you be interested in like us doing a live stream and you guys just talk about like just question us about Cora in general or just want us to read your comments, uh, like we done with like My Hero Academia. Uh, I'll, I'll, you know, just watch the My Hero Academia reactions too. You can, you can see uh, how oh, we yeah. do that. Shameless plug. Yeah, shameless, shameless plug. plug. Check out our My Hero stuff. As always. There's a lot of it. It's also really fantastic. We binged like ten episodes in the first episode. Oh. We almost killed ourselves, but it was it was good. It was worth it, but also not worth it <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, yeah. We decided very quickly to never do that again. But uh, yeah, just let us down below. Just let us know down below uh, what you what you thought of the episode. Like not the, only the episode, the entire season. Like if you watched it uh, ongoing, like when this was airing live, live back in like 2014 or 12. I I don't remember. Uh, but if you watched it live, tell us what what did you think? What was your like live reaction to all of this? Or if you watched it later on, just let us know down below in the comments. We, at the very least, we read, or at least I read them all, and then I send Makai comments like, alright, this is spoiler free, this is spoiler free, and I just send Makai those comments. And then sometimes Makai even goes down in the comments and responds to you lads, as long as it's spoiler free. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you guys want to engage with me specifically, yeah, I'll try and engage with you specifically too. So yeah, lads, uh, that was Core Season 1. We'll be going into Core Season 2 next week, and uh, that's going to be... Um, it's definitely going to be interesting going back to rewatch that. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm curious. I'm actually curious to see my own reaction to it because I do have my thoughts. I do wonder if it's just me misremembering 
<laughs> or if, hmm. um, like... In a good way or a bad way? A little bit of both. <laughs> like... Interesting. Um, like with this, like with this season, I misremembered how much Amon was in it. <laughs> I thought he was in yeah. way more. Uh, but in reality, he was like a couple minutes. Like every episode he was in, he was only in there a couple minutes, except for like I think his introduction episode. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm interested to see what I think myself of season two because I didn't even finish watching it. Like I know what happens. Didn't finish watching it though. And I'm also really curious to see what Makaya thinks in general, too, uh, of season two. So that's going to be an interesting 14 episodes. It's a slightly longer. Nickelodeon gave them two extra episodes. Um, oh, Nickelodeon. Never change. Although, please, please, please do change. <laughs> please change. Oh, Nickelodeon. Oh, Nickelodeon. <laughs> So yeah, we'll see you all lads next week. Leave all your comments down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit the like button, all that jazzy jam. And until next time, adios.